everyone. Welcome to another vlog. I, it is Saturday evening. I had a busy day, actually. I woke up this morning in the single digits. Yes, before 10 o'clock on a day off. Then I went to the gym and we had our group training session, which kicked my butt. And then I came home and I did lots of filming and editing now. And, oh, yeah, so... Last night, though, after I posted my vlog and everything, I got some more reading done on Earth's End. So I'm at page 149, I think, now. I may get to read a little bit more of this tonight, uh, maybe get up to page 200. I'm just honestly really tired. So once I'm done editing, I think I'm just going to, like, watch a movie or something and just chill out for the evening. Or I might watch some Food Network on on mute and then just listen to the audiobook and follow along to Nevermore, Trials of Morgan Crow. I started this earlier today. I'm about a third of the way in. It is so good. There are so many Harry Potter vibes and feels in this, but it's not like just a total ripoff of Harry Potter or anything like that. It's just got like, you know, a Hagrid character and like a someone rescuing you from a cupboard under the stairs kind of start kind of thing. So I am really excited to see where this goes. I'm really, really happy I picked it up. And this is my book for the Book of Spells Square on the Yule Ball Bingo card. So I am so excited about this. It's just, it keeps getting better each chapter. So I am, I'm honestly probably going to buy my own copy because it's going to be a series. And this is going to be one that I think I'm going to reread whenever a new book comes out. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Hey everyone, it's Sunday evening. I had a pretty productive day. I woke up, had some lunch breakfast kind of thing. Went to the gym and had yoga. Then I went and did all the shopping I needed to and got my wrapping paper and everything. And then I came home and I finished Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. And I highly recommend that book, especially if you like Harry Potter for sure. And I am all packed for my trip tomorrow to Edmonton. So I'm only there for a day, so it's not too much packing. But I am going to be bringing with me Earth's End. I'll just put it in a little sleeve and it'll go in my purse with me. I'm going to try and read maybe to page 200 or so tonight. I didn't read any yesterday and I just read Nevermore so far today. And since I'm done Nevermore, I'm going to be starting The Last Neanderthal by Claire Cameron on audiobook and following along. I'm really excited about this book. It's pretty short as well. And I've kind of started reading it before, but I'm just going to start fresh because it's been quite a while. And I think this book has the potential to be like a really, really unique read. So I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, I think that's kind of it. I'm going to try when I'm in Edmonton because they have lots of bookstores there. Try and get to a bookstore. We're only there for one night though. But uh, see if I can get there and pick up my own copy of Nevermore. It was a really good book, so I returned my copy to the library. And I want to get my own copy because there's going to be a sequel. And I definitely want to reread it before the sequel. So, yeah, that is my Sunday. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Monday. And I'll be in a hotel room, which is really, really cool. I always get excited about that, even at 25. And I put all my videos up today. And, yeah, I will see you guys later. Hey everyone, it is Monday evening. I think it's like 9 or 10 o'clock. So I had a very long day. I woke up at 5 o'clock this morning and got my dogs all ready and packed up everything and went to the gym for my morning session with my trainer and then <laughs> ran to the coffee shop and then ran to the office where my co-worker picked me up and then we drove to the airport and took the flight to, to Edmonton because I had uh, provincial meeting all day and if you know where the Edmonton airport is then you know that it is a good drive away from downtown where we had to be so we had to take a cab and then rush just because of like the flight times and everything we had to like run everywhere and then we had our meeting <laughs> and then we finally just went to dinner and then I ended up having to have like another little mini meeting yeah so it's been a long day so <laughs> I am just gonna pass out I don't even think I'm gonna watch any TV or anything I am exhausted but on the flight down, I managed to read up to page 227 of Earth's End. So I have like 100 pages left. And tomorrow, because of how like, I don't know who sets up the flight schedule, but because of how the flights are set up, we have to take a flight from Edmonton to Calgary and then take the flight again from there to, to my house or to, to our city instead of just taking the flight from Edmonton straight up because for whatever reason, they have the flight from Edmonton to Calgary then to up at like... 9 30 or whatever in the morning and then if we waited till the other one that goes straight from Edmonton to where we live it would like we wouldn't get there till like 6 p.m so so we're gonna make like a small lunch detour in Calgary apparently so while I'm flying I am going to definitely I I think I'll be able to finish Earth's End and I'm absolutely loving it so far I can just feel my heart 
is tensing though. I just know something is gonna happen in these last 100 pages, as at least Kova does. Instead of starting The Last Neanderthal, I notice it's actually not on my Yule Ball Bingo. I wanna read all the books on my Yule Ball Bingo before I read anything else that's on my December TBR. That way I know it's done and then I get all the points for my house. Hufflepuffs for life. I'm thinking of doing Shatter Me, but I'm also kind of curious all of a sudden, I don't even remember placing the hole, but the audiobook for The Song of Achilles finally came out. Uh, finally became available to me, so I have that as well. So those I think are going to be my next like two books or so. Really, no matter how Earth End finishes, I'm not going to pick the fourth one up right away. I am going to put the fourth and the fifth one on my January TBR, and then next I'm going to be picking up Speak Easy, Speak Love by Mikkel George, and I'm so beyond excited to start that one. I have like a little tradition in. Well, just because I, I enjoy getting to like go all different random places and like picking up little random things along the way, but I don't see the point in picking up little knickknacks that I'm just going to end up throwing out anyways. So instead, I have a rule to wherever I am on a trip, I have to go to the bookstore and pick up a book. And I went to the bookstore near my hotel and they had this. So I picked up Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. So I now have my own physical copy because I returned that copy to the library. So I am so excited about this. And... And yeah, that is that is my Monday. This is what happens when you impulse buy food, really anything, off Amazon without looking at the dimensions. I mean, what am I going to do with this much chocolate? Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. I just got home from, well, not just, I got home from my flight and had to go to the work for a few minutes and drop that stuff off, but I'm all done that stuff now, so it's the evening, so I'm just going to warm up some leftovers or something. But while I was at the airport in Calgary waiting on my layover to come home, I finished Earth's End by Elise Kova. It is the third book in the Air Awakened series. It didn't, like, destroy me the way the end of Fire Falling did, but it was such a sad ending, and it was so sweet, and but it kind of broke my heart, and... Yeah, so, I mean, I'm definitely going to read book four and five. I think they're going to be on my January TBR, along with The Rebels of Gold, which is the third book in the Loom Saga series by the same author. The Rebels of Gold actually came out today, but I don't know why, for some reason, Indigo has it labeled as coming out December 21st. So I've had it pre-ordered since, like, September or something like that, but it still hasn't even shipped, so, I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. And, like, at that time, it's going to be, like, Christmas, so there's going to be several days without postal service, so... I don't know when it'll actually get here. I just hope that something eventually gets to me so I can read the book in January. Starting tomorrow morning while I get ready for work, I'm going to begin Shatter Me by Taharif Mafi. I have never actually read this series. It is the first book of what originally was a trilogy, and it's now becoming a six-book series. I've actually... No, I have read her. I read her middle grade book, Witchwood, I believe it's called. The sequel for that one also just came out. It's a very weird book, and it's like this weird middle grade YA book. I did enjoy it, though, and the writing was quite interesting. So I'm really curious about this book. I know that people either seem to be total trash for it or absolutely think it is trash. So I'm curious to see where I sit. I'm also very interested because I know there's like supposed to be some romance or at least some dude that everyone is in love with. I think it's named Warren. I'm not totally sure. Don't quote me on that. But I'm just really curious to see where I stand on that. I would love to get involved in another fandom, although I don't know if I can financially really afford to do that anymore. But I am just really, really curious. The series has really cool covers too, so I kind of hope I love it so I can keep buying the books. I own this book, Shatter Me, and then I also own the second book, or at least I think it's the second book, Unravel Me. I picked it up off of Book Outlet. So if I do like Shatter Me, I'll pick up, probably on Boxing Day sale or something like that, I'll look to pick up if there's any more of, I guess, the third book so far to see if the third book's up there. I also know that there's, like, novellas, too, and I'm not sure if they're physical copies or not. I don't know. Once I decide if I like the first book or not, I'll start figuring out that whole series of novels and novellas and all that kind of chaos. But for now, I'm going to be starting the audiobook tomorrow for Shatter Me and then kind of go from there. Depending on how tired I am after dinner, because the whole flying and laying over and then flying and then meetings and flying and all that stuff has just kind of drained me. But I, if I don't start tonight, I think I'm going to read a couple chapters tomorrow. Speak Easy, Speak Love by Mikkel George. I'm so excited about this. I've heard no like hype about this at all on BookTube. And then I've seen the reviews on Goodreads and there's not tons of them, but they're all like four and five star ratings and like absolutely raving about how good this book is and all the characters and like the family element and the friendships and the romances and like the, the setting. It's a 1920s much ado about nothing retelling. So it's actually set in Long Island in 1920s and there's a speakeasy that is 
like they're trying to keep it afloat and it's during prohibition and there's three boys and three girls and like apparently there's some romance and some hardcore friendships and I am just so excited to read this book. I got this book for my friend Meg as well for Christmas because she finally opened it, I can say that. She was writing an assignment where she had to like cast a much, she had to cast like a Shakespeare adaptation and she happened to pick a much ado about nothing and was like, maybe I'll sit in the 1920s with flappers and all that stuff. And I was like, and then I found this and was like, ah, oh, it's like, that's, that's this. So I am so excited to get this started. I, I hope I'll try and read a chapter or two tonight. I'm just uh, kind of, kind of exhausted. So if I don't get started on this tonight, I'll try to do it tomorrow. Oh, wait, no. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tomorrow I have work and then I come home and then I have yoga and then I have my boot camp session after yoga because that's the only time I can do it on the Wednesday. So I don't know if I'll have energy tomorrow night. If not, whatever. I'll start it by the weekend. I also just noticed, too, while I was, like, looking at my Yule Ball bingo card, that Earth N technically fits for the Chosen One trope. So I currently had that written down to be used by The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding, but... I mean, I guess I could just, like, take a, po a point early. I, I still want to read The Dreadful Tale, but at least now I know that for sure I've got the point, just in case something happens. So I think I'm going to take the extra point. So now I've finished two books on the U-Ball bingo card with Nevermore and then with Earth End. So I'm really excited about that. And that is my Wednesday. I'm going to warm up some food, maybe eat some of that ginormous chocolate bar that I somehow accidentally bought. And I'm going to wrap the gifts that I bought for my friends and get them out by the end of the week, hopefully. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday evening. I got home from the gym and my body hurts all over, but I finished a book today, actually. I started and finished Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. <laughs> I mean, I'll do my full review, but this book was cringy. Oh my god. And like, yeah, I mean, I'll talk about my review, but I mean, I'm glad I got it done on my square, but... Definitely not going to be rereading it. I got home, and then before I went to the gym, I went to the library to pick up a book that I've had on hold for, uh, I think, about a month and a half or so now. And Dear Martin by Nick Stone. It's uh, finally showed up. I didn't realize how small it was, but it is a, if you, it's kind of like, well, not kind of like The Hate You Give, but it is the, kind of the same theme, struggle, tackled. There is a guy that is, I believe, racially profiled, and this is his letters to Martin Luther King Jr., which I think is really interesting. And I mean, like, I've talked about this before. I think these kind of perspectives are incredibly important. I am someone that, as an ally, is, even with that, I am not, I still am never going to be able to totally understand what it's like to be racially profiled. So I, I think things like that are, are very important and... Um, I'm going to try and find some time in December to read it, and I think I will be able to. It's, like I said, it's not a long book, and also there's already a hold on it from someone else at the library, so I can't renew it. So <laughs> I have to read it soon, within the next, like, three weeks or so. So that is what I'll be doing. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to begin following along with the audiobook for The Glass Spare by Lauren Stefano. I know that there is, like, someone with powers and gemstones and someone who's looking to abuse that person with those powers. So I'm using this book to fill the square for Book with the Villain on the Yule Ball Bingo card. And I have heard actually like really, really positive things from people that I really do trust the opinion of. So I I hadn't heard anything at all and I was kind of hesitant. And just the things that I'm hearing, I'm actually like really, really hyped about this one now. Physical book wise, I think I'm going to be starting Speak Easy, Speak Love sometime tomorrow. I don't have the gym or anything. So I think I'm gonna give that a go after work. If not this, then I will pick up Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie Mecklemore. It is the diversity pick of the month for the Life and Lit group. And I think the discussion happens in next week or something like that. So that way I'll have this week to read the physical book. And yeah, so I'll work between Wild Beauty and Speak Easy, Speak Love. And that is that is my Wednesday. I think I'm done filming because my arm hurts and I can't hold this up any longer. So yeah. Hey everyone, it is Wednesday. I just got home from work. I was able to, this morning, read about an hour and a half into the audiobook for The Glass Spare by Lauren Stefano, and so far I'm really enjoying it. So I am just filming this, and then I'm going to take the dogs for a walk. I'm going to keep listening to it. So I think I'm going to go for like an hour walk, so I should be able to get through like almost another two hours of it or so. And when I got home, I saw this in the mail! 
Uh, it could be one of like three things. So, all right, at 25, I still have to remind myself to cut away from my face. Oh, wait, that's top. Ooh. I'm so excited. So this is a purchase I made like last week when my sister, I think it was, was asking me what I wanted. And then I remember like, oh my God, I forgot to add this to my wish list. And then I went to go get the link and I noticed how cheap they were. And I was like, nah, wait, I'm going to give you sister the link to the more expensive books and I'm going to buy the books that are cheaper. So I picked up the first three books in the other series written by Sebastian de Castell. Last month I read Spellslinger, which is the first book in a duology. I'm still waiting for my copy of that sequel to show up because I ordered it through work for a slightly cheaper price. I just have to wait longer. So until then, I have his other series, which I've heard nothing but amazing reviews about. So I have pretty, pretty high hopes for it. I want to get them all in the same format. So he has a fifth book in the series coming out, I think, next year. And then there was the book, the fourth book in the series, but it's only in hardcover right now, so I'm going to wait. Oh, I laughed too, because apparently there's going to be like another book too, but it, on the Indigo website, it's like catalog to come out in like 2035 or something like that. I assume it's just a mis mistype, but it's I, I find that stuff immensely hilarious. I don't even remember what order they're in. Even in Canada, even though they're paperback, they're only like 15 bucks each, which is like super cheap. So yeah. So I picked up Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell, which is the first book of the series. Then the second book is Night Shadow. And the third book is Saint's Blood. I am super excited. And I'm going to keep my eye on the fourth book to see when it comes out in paperback. And... And definitely watch for the fifth book. It doesn't come out, I think, till May 2018 or so. But I'm just like, I really hope I like this series, especially since I got all three, the first three books. But the covers are really cool, too. The spines don't really match, but they're definitely, like, the same theme. So it's just kind of weird that they did that. It's really cool, though, if you look in, like, the capes and everything, they, like, have pictures inside of the capes. And Night Shadow does that, too. And then Saints Blood. So I don't know if I totally understand the plot of this book series, but it sounded super interesting. So there is, I think it's 144 like knights, men and women that are like the most elite for the king. And this whole thing starts off when the dukes and, and the people with money and ambition below the king end up murdering the king. And from what I gather, there was some secret mission left by the king to the gray coats, who are those elite men and women and it is coming from the perspective of these gray coats and they have to go on this final mission i don't even know what the whole point of the mission if it's supposed to like bring someone back to life or death i don't know if there's magic or anything it just sounded super cool and the covers were so cool and i absolutely loved the humor and sarcasm and the writing in spellslinger so i figured like worst comes to worst i just don't like the plot and i still enjoy this like writing so i think i'm going to try and put trader's blade on my january tbr i have to look and see what exactly i have to fill in but I am super, super curious about this, and this will hold me over until my copy of Shadow Black shows up with my copy of Spellslinger. Yeah, so that is my Wednesday afternoon evening. I'll definitely check in after I've, you know, done some stuff and read some more. Hey everyone, I just spent most of the evening actually editing the vlog because I just realized that I hadn't done that yet, and it's Thursday, so... I have to put the vlog up tomorrow. <laughs> so so uh, between, you know, eating dinner and editing the vlog, I have been reading The Glass Spare. I'm up to page 213, and it's so cool so far. Like, it's kind of like a King Midas situation with the whole, like, touching and things turning into gemstone things. I am honestly exhausted. I think, like, just staring at the screen for so long, editing kind of hurt my eyes. So I'm not going to be able to pick up a physical book. I'm exhausted. I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. So I'm going to start that tomorrow. I've got a little bit of time tomorrow after work and before my gym boot camp. Um, my boot camp's not till 8 and I, I get off work at 4.30. So I've got a little bit of time. So I think I'm going to come home and chill with my dogs for a little bit and then read a couple chapters and then go to the gym. And then I can stay up and like do whatever I want because it's Friday night and that means I don't really have to like adult on Saturday morning. So yeah, that is that is my Thursday. Hey everyone, it is no, Friday? Yeah, I think so. My week, my head is all messed up because of the moving and flying this week. So today is Friday, yes. <laughs> I got home from work and I just finished The Glass Spare by Lauren DeStefano. This is the third book I read this week and I really enjoyed this one. 
I am thinking that I have a little bit of time before I have to go to the gym. So I think that I'm actually, I'm going to leave um, Speak Easy, Speak Love and start tomorrow and can start it fresh for the weekend. I am going to start, I think, the audiobook for the song of, of the Achilles or the song of Achilles. I've heard like super crazy good things about it. But people are just like, oh my god, it's just so diverse, it's so great. And I was like, okay, but what, is it actually good or not? So I'm going to find out finally. So I'm going to start the audiobook for that soon. And before that, though, I'm going to edit this vlog and throw it up on the internet. And then, yeah, that's it. Can you say bye? Yeah.